Northern Tech, and today we're going to do something different. Um, this is my first movie on this channel, hopefully you enjoy it. And it's basically showing you how to render a project in iMovie to upload to YouTube without getting the error of, please set this here up as a streaming media. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so obviously the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your iMovie and you want to get your product ready. I just got this simple little, you know, nothing fancy freaking setup going on. Uh, just uh, one of my other videos I made, you know, it's just, this is actually from the, from Friday's vlog. Uh, I'm just gonna use this as an example. So to actually render this, you want to go up here to share. From share, you want to go down to export using QuickTime. Now I've already done this and tested it and it works awesome. Uh, basically, it's just set the pug test one dot move for quick time movies. You go under options, okay? Under video, we'll go into settings. So you wanna make sure it's set to 29.97 frames. Keyframes don't matter. Set it for whatever, automatic or every 20 to 75. You wanna set the data rate. I set mine to 4,000. You can go higher or lower, it's up to you. 4,000 kilobits per second seems to be pretty good. And YouTube always kites over the quality anyway, so 4,000 is pretty good. And here, optimize for. CD-ROM download streaming. Make sure it's set to streaming at all times. Now I usually set it up for multi-pass. You can do a single pass for a faster encode. That's up to you. We'll try it on single pass to see. Like uh, the multi-pass is the reason why it took two hours to render a 10 minute vlog. Single pass will be obviously a lot faster, but the quality will be degraded. Once you have all this set up to look like this, hit okay. And then you want to click on size to make sure that you're doing at least 720p. Uh, the last time I made this here example, uh, I think Pug messed up and he had it set to something smaller like some 4x3 and it came out really bad. Make sure it's set to 720p unless you want to go balls deep and go 1080p. I always say 720p because honestly it's YouTube who gives a shit. If I was making a real motion picture, I'd probably go 1080p but because it's just YouTube's, who cares? Now because my camera records in 60 interlaced, not 60, well it does do 60 progressive, but stock it does 60 interlaced, I always de-interlace my source video, and that way there, when you turn the camera, you don't get this like grated cheese effect, you know, you've probably seen it on some videos before. De-interlacing your source video solves that problem. Once that's all done, then you can go into filter, filter probably doesn't need you you can just do your standard filtering like you can sharpen it special blah, blah don't worry about that don't worry about that so settings is what you need size is what you need next you want to go into sounds make sure it's set the AAC I usually crank this up to 48,000 and make sure my target bit rate is 192 or higher my camera records in 256 so we'll set it to 256 bit perfect and this is important here. Prepare for internet streaming. You want to set it for fast start. Make sure it's set for fast start. If you do not have this checked, you check it. Set it for fast start. And then click OK. And then all you got to do is hit save. And she's off to the races, exporting the video. Now this computer is not exactly fast. It's a dual core 1.86 gigahertz. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM and 120 gig solid state drive so it's not exactly the quickest thing on the market but once it's done rendering what I'll do is I'll show you guys it uploading to YouTube and I'll prove to you guys that this actually works right alrighty and we're all done our, screen, our uh, render so we'll go ahead and close down iMovie here and you can see the um, but you can see the pug one test movie here and uh, just to show you how it plays, we'll fire it up. Oh, Jesus. Well, today is a real screwed up vlog for sure. It's currently 10.30 p.m. That's right. <laughs> okay, so it does play. Now, let's say we want to upload this to YouTube. So we'll go ahead and crack open Safari because I don't have any other browser on here. So we'll have to use that. Okay, now that we're on the upload, I'm going to upload it as private because I don't want this video going live. We're going to grab the Pug1 test video, drag it over, drop it, and as you'll notice here, it's uploading. It's got two minutes to go, and we don't have that warning that we need to set it up for streaming. And it is set for private, so it won't actually go live. And it's working perfectly. 
And this is a real small video, like it's 10 seconds long, so it's probably only like maybe, maybe 10 megs, not even. How big is this? This video is 10 megs. So it went up, it didn't tell me anything about the processing problems or nothing. And these settings work now. If the bit rate's too low, you can always bring the bit rate up to 8 megabits a second, which is 8,000 kilobits. But look, it's already processing. It didn't even sit there and wait. It just, boom, done, video's up, you know, one of those. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Anybody using a MacBook or an iMac or whatever the frig you have with iMovie, this is the way I render for YouTubes and it works every time back when I was using a MacBook to render. Now I use a PC, I have a whole world of problems ahead of me. I'm kidding, but seriously, it's different on Sony Vegas. But anyway, hopefully that, that helps you out. Any questions, comments about any of this process, leave them in the uh, comment section below and I'll do my best to respond. All right guys, till next time, take care.